only four groups remain to participate in this year's Head to Head Challenge. Four more sets of video presentations, four more final questions, and four more chances to vote for your favorite contestant. Today, these six ladies are ready to go, so let's begin the Miss World Head to Head Challenge. Today we have Mexico. Hola, hola. Russia. Spain. Hello. Malta. Hi. Northern Ireland. Hi. And Aruba. Ladies, how are you feeling today? Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Thank you. Yeah. A little bit nervous, but. Yeah. <laughs> and are you ready for the head to head challenge? Yeah. Oh, yes. we, we've been ready for days. I mean, yeah. we saw ready all those groups pass by, and mm -hmm. now we are ready. I guess being group 17, you do have yeah. a little bit more time to wait. Yeah. yeah. And anticipation yeah. to share a little bit about ourselves. Absolutely. Well, you look prepared, you look amazing, so let's begin the head-to-head -head challenge. As you know, the challenge will consist of two parts. First, your own video presentations, and then the final question. Let's meet Mexico. My name is Vanessa Ponce de Leon, and I'm representing Mexico. And this is my story. I was born in Mexico City into a family who taught me to love my country, its culture and traditions. Right after graduation, I was invited to participate in the modeling reality show. After that, I became a professional model. It was great working for fashion brands, designers, doing commercials and shooting for magazines. But I started feeling a little empty. Then I got a job to do a commercial for a migrant shelter. When I arrived, I saw the hunger, the fear, and the loneliness. I had to do something. Since then, I haven't stopped. I became a full-time volunteer. I am part of the directive board of a rehab center. I've worked for more than 18 different organizations. I started giving conferences raising awareness on disabilities, addictions, and poverty in the indigenous community. I've done benefit galas and other fundraising events. Now I am Miss Mexico. This has given me the opportunity to combine my passion with my mission and send a message that helping is not hard. You only need the will to make a difference. That's the reason why I came to Miss World. See you in Sanya. Mexico, in your video you said you've worked with 18 organizations. Why did you decide to work with so many different organizations? Well, I think there's also different. You learn different things from all of them. Like for example, the rehab center, you come there and see the girls after four months and they transform, so it's kind of like magic. And then you go and work with people with disabilities and they show you the purest form of love. It's truly unconditional love. And then you go and work with the indigenous kids and it's, it's weird because you look at the future because you're working with their education and, and these are the kids that will become the future of Mexico, but you're looking at the past because they have all our traditions, all our history, our culture. And then you get to know the stories and you know their names and their families and they become family. When you, when you start caring, people become family and you can't abandon your family. It's a commitment for life. So I can't leave them. I just, I just have to keep working for them. Now, you're basically, it seems like a full-time volunteer. <laughs> yeah. So what would you say to someone who has a full-time job, has a career, has a, has a child, but also wants to give back to their community? Like, I, I say that everyone can help. Like, if you can give your time, you can give money. If you can give no money or time, you can pass on the voice. And maybe someone who can help will hear from you and will do something. So everyone can help. Maybe in the tiniest, beatiest way, but you can do something about everyone that surrounds you. Thank you so much, Mexico. Thank you. Our second contestant from this group comes from Russia. Hello, everyone. My name is Natalia Strova, and I am representing Russia at Miss World 2018. I was born in the northern part of Russia, Republic of Sakhaya in Yakutsk city. My homeland is a wonderful region with the largest territory in the Russian Federation and picturesque places that combine folk traditions and advanced technologies. In future, I am planning to become a dermatologist and plastic surgeon. Since childhood, I decided to become a doctor. I always like to watch programs about mechanisms of human body and also about transformations. At the time, I understand that I want to help people to be more self-confident. 
In my spare time, I love doing modeling and work as a defile instructor and run photo position courses for young models. Studying in a medical university takes a lot of time, but I try to allocate time to do sports and dance to maintain my health. Thank you for your attention and see you in China. Russia, how can you help people be more self-confident? Я считаю то, что я могу помочь людям стать уверенным в себе благодаря своей будущей профессии. На данный момент я сейчас являюсь студентом медицинского университета и хочу освоить профессию косметолога-дерматолога пластического хирурга. Я считаю свою профессию достаточно актуальной в наше время, потому что красота это уже не просто характеристика или отличительная черта, это уже целая индустрия. И как гласит русская пословица, встречает по обложке, а провожает по уму. И нельзя не сказать о том, что природа создает прекрасные вещи. Мы встречаем множество людей, и каждый по-своему красив. У кого-то красивые глаза, у кого-то красивые губы, волосы, фигура. Это все можно перечислять бесконечно. Но наш мир сбалансирован, и если есть прекрасное, есть и место ошибкам природы, такие как зайчья губа, волчья пасть. Это дефекты, связанные с расщелиной губы и неба, рак кожи, аномалии, асимметрии лица. Все это можно перечислять бесконечно. Благодаря существованию благотворительных организаций, таких как операция «Улыбка», которые привлекают врачей со всего света, я надеюсь, что я буду в одной из их числа в дальнейшем, помогать людям стать, обрести свое здоровье, красоту и уверенность в себе. Спасибо. Thank you, Russia. Next, the world gets to meet Spain. I study business management in its university. It's where I first started practicing the art of dancing. Although I started my social volunteering in Taipei five years ago, now I'm collaborating with Paris 365 Association that works for people in risk situations of social exclusion. This is Aoi, my village, where my story starts, my roots. I love this culture, it's millenarian language that I speak. I'm an open-minded person, and I used to discover other cultures, other places, other countries. Because of it, I have learned English and I'm actually learning Chinese. I gaze at the wide horizons, and I dream with traveling, collaborating, helping. I imagine a beautiful world for everyone. Spain, when and why did you learn Chinese? Hi, Frankie, thank you for your question. When I was 16 years old, I decided to go to Taiwan because my brother lives there like nine years ago. He's an architect and he's teacher in Taipei University. So I went there to visit him and I started doing volunteering with children with autism problems. And I thought that it was a good idea to take Chinese classes to be able to interact with them. But uh, when I started getting in Chinese classes, I realized that I love that language. I think it's unique. So I've been taking classes until now. And has knowing Chinese helped you here in Sanya? Yes, of course. I'm practicing my Chinese. My Chinese is not very good, but I think that people like uh, to see a Spanish girl talking in Chinese. It's very funny for them. And can you show us some Chinese? OK, I will make an introduction for you. Ni hao o chao maya o chinian er su ise o sisi panya ren o ae sanya. Thank you very much, Ms. Spade. You're welcome. We've met our first three contestants, and now we meet contestant number four, Malta. Merhaba. My name is Maria Lul. I am 24 years old, and I am your Miss World Malta 2018. I was raised in a small coastal village in the southern part of the island a village that helped instill in me the importance of our very own traditions and reinforced my passion for nature, the village of Zurich. Being active is a very important aspect for me as it allows me to feel present in the moment, yet freeing and even more empowered. Combining my passions and talents and using them for greater purpose has always been my personal aspiration and is the reason I stand before you here today, 
truly honored to represent a country that touches my heart each and every single day. My name is Maria Loul and I am proudly representing the Maltese Islands at the 68th annual Miss World in Sanya, China. Malta, why is nature so important to you? Well, nature has always been a very big part of my life. I grew up in the southern part of the island, which is abundant with greenery, and most of my childhood memories are actually running around in our very own fields. Um, my parents have taught me the importance of sustainable living. We own our own fields, and that has led to growing our own crops and livestock. This ensures that we are not overusing any land, and we are also managing our own food waste and consumption. Um, nature, or rather the preservation of it, is something that's very important to me. It's a very personal advocacy and I wanted to bring that with me all the way over to Sanya. And I did that through my gown choice for the Top Model Challenge. The gown's material is actually made out of recycled plastic bottles through a sustainable energy process. It's because I really wanted to show the world that we can create elegance from waste. Amazing, I can't wait to see that outfit. Malta, what's a tip that you could give to someone who's you know, wanting to protect nature or, or help the environment? Always be mindful, our life is so fast and I think that's a very important tip. Thank you, Malta. Thank you. Next, we get to meet Northern Ireland. Hello, my name is Catherine Walker. I am 23 years old. I'm from Hillsborough, a small village outside Belfast and I will be representing Northern Ireland on the Miss World stage. Since winning my title in May, I have continued to work as a nurse in the Children's Intensive Care Unit in our regional hospital in Belfast. In my job, I care for critically unwell children and children who are facing life-limiting illnesses. Alongside this, I have continued to support the Northern Ireland Children's Hospice through various fundraising activities, such as running the Belfast Half Marathon. As a nurse, we have the opportunity to heal the mind, soul, body and heart of our patients, their families and ourselves. They may forget your name, but they'll never forget the way that you made them feel. As Miss Northern Ireland, I hope to encourage others and inspire them to achieve their dreams the way I have done mine. Northern Ireland has so much to offer, from our stunning scenery, booming film industry, to our famous hospitality. I can't wait to represent our wee nation on the global stage. Northern Ireland, can you use what you've learned as a nurse to be a great Miss World? Absolutely. Um, although I am a children's nurse, I trained with all ages, backgrounds and abilities. So that taught me a lot about life. Um, I feel like I'm quite young, but I've seen a lot, so that's really helped me grow as a person. Um, I work in the Children's Intensive Care Unit in Belfast, which is the only one in Northern Ireland. So we care for the most critically unwell children in our country. So every day your life is put into perspective. Um, nursing has taught me to be patient, to be compassionate, grateful and never take anything for granted and to make the most of every opportunity, which is why I'm here in Sanya. Um, for me, Miss World should be a positive role model, someone who encourages others and uses her platform for good and to help others. And I think that's sort of what I'm already doing as Miss Northern Ireland and being a nurse. So I would just take everything that I've done so far and build on it. Um, and I think if I can work in an emergency scenario and save lives, then I can handle anything. Thank you very much, Northern Thank Ireland. You. Our last contestant is Aruba. Bombini, my name is Nurian Arias, and I am proudly representing the one happy island of Aruba. Coming from a very loving and compassionate family, I realize the value of helping caring and giving love to others. Therefore, since a young age, I've been involved as a volunteer for different causes and organizations. I achieved my master's degree in public administration in the Netherlands, and I am a proud teacher at the University of Aruba. I founded Speak Your Heart Foundation to raise awareness on the importance of health to educate and inspire the Aruban community to prioritize their health as an essence for their lives. I am so glad to be part of this wonderful journey to Miss World and I'm ready to get to know all the contestants and to share our cultures as one nation and to speak our hearts to the world. Aruba, do you think being a teacher can help prepare you to be Miss World? Yes, definitely. I believe that being a teacher would help me as Miss World and it has helped me through my journey as Miss River World. Being a teacher requires so much patience, compassion and love. I believe that teachers are the most important and one of the most important and influencing global advocates 
for well-being of people around the world, and I believe it is in perfect alignment with Miss World's purpose, which is to influence and impact people's lives in a positive way for their own well-being, human well-being and development. And what grade do you teach right now? I actually teach at the University of Aruba, which has given me the opportunity to actually share knowledge with people that are more or less the same age as I am. But in this platform, I've learned to know people better and actually learn about their lives and also how we can make our world better with different types of people, backgrounds, knowledge, and abilities. Thank you, Aruba. It's now time to vote. Only one of these contestants can move on to round two, and there are four ways to help them get there. You can like the contestants' official Miss World Facebook page, like their content on Mobstar, vote for them on the Miss World website, or in China on Model Power Live. It's time for my favorite part of the head-to-head -head challenge, the final question. Each of our contestants has been given the question before the show. I'll read it again to each of you, and you'll each have a chance to respond. And we'll go in reverse order, starting with Aruba. Aruba, who is one historical figure you think the world could learn from today? I strongly and I've always admired Nelson Mandela. May he rest in peace. I believe that his cause was so strong and so direct and that currently in our daily lives, we still learn from him. He has taught us that it doesn't matter in what circumstance or situation we are in or adversity, actually kindness and mutual understanding through a very powerful weapon, which is education, is always the way of life and is the way we will reach a lot of people in this platform of this world as well. Naturally, I am biased towards this figure, um, but Florence Nightingale, she revolutionized nursing and she turned it into a profession. And when she was awarded for her good deeds, she put that money back into people and back into education. Um, and so I think we owe a lot to her, to the nursing profession today. And um, so I think what we could learn from her is to show compassion and to give back to others and that you can be compassionate, but also a strong woman too. I truly believe that Anne Frank is a figure that we need to return back to because she reminds us of our population's biggest mistakes. The world at the moment is currently facing so many heightened irregular migration problems that are due to persecution and war. And it, it seems like we forgot that racism and segregation have actually led to the biggest tragedy in the world. It inspired my Beauty with a Purpose program and I believe that her persona, her diary, should not serve as only as a reminder, but as an inspiration to the world that we want to live in. A world that is free from inequality, that it, equality is solely not based on race, color, ethnicity or religion. My inspiration is a girl from Pakistan. She is the same age as me. Her name is Malala Yousafzai. She is the youngest person to receive the Nobel Prize before 20, 2014. And she thinks the same as me that education means freedom. So she works every day for the schooling of women of her country. Меня лично очень вдохновляют люди, которые независимо от своего положения в обществе, финансовой составляющей добились серьезного успеха. Таким самым популярным из подобных людей является Уолтер Дисней. Он художник, режиссер, мне кажется, каждый его знает. Без него бы мы не прокатились, не посетили и не мечтали бы посетить самый популярный в мире парк для семьи Диснейленд. Мало кто знает то, что в начале своего пути его очень часто не принимали, принимали его идеи в штыки, но он добился успеха благодаря своей целеустремленности и вере в себя. И мне кажется, то, что нынешнему поколению он может дать хорошие уроки и советы, чтобы стать увереннее в себе, потому что люди боятся выйти из зоны комфорта, проявить в себя и заняться, наконец, делом, которым нравится больше всего. Спасибо. Like, I think Aruba and I have similar points of view on this. I would say Nelson Mandela as well. Of course, we know he fought for equality, he fought for democracy, he fought for education. But I think like, there's so much more that we have to learn from him, like stay, staying true to your beliefs. He spent 27 years in prison. He, even, he was offered a deal to come out and he refused it because he was against all the things he believed in. He even got a law degree while he was in it and he educated all the prisoners there. And when he came out, he still fought for the rights of minorities, even white minorities, who put him in jail. So I think there's a lot we can learn from him about forgiveness, and we need that now. 
Thank you, Mexico. Thank you. And thank you, everyone. That concludes the, <laughs> the difficult part <laughs> of the Head to Head Challenge. How did you pick just one person? There's so many great historians and, and figures. How, how did you choose? Well, it wasn't easy. <laughs> no, it wasn't easy. I mean, especially when you have so many people that you admire, you just, I had to narrow it down to one. Mm. And I chose someone that is very um, close to me because of my Beauty with a Purpose project. So something that spoke to me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something personal. Yeah. Good. Makes sense. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and, um, you know, we are nearing, each day we are nearing the Miss World finale. <laughs> Tell me a bit about the dancing and, and how that's going ah. because I think people oh. are dying to know how everyone's getting on. Oh well, please, I, I'm not a great dancer, I have to admit. Same here. But I, think, I think that we are doing, uh, doing it like as good as we can. Like we're yeah. putting all our souls, our passion into it and I hope like we can do with the face what yeah. we can do yeah. with the body, like a lot of attitude I'm into sure it. We can deliver. It's exactly. great in rehearsals yeah. because you see like girls that haven't picked up the dance, others who have got it are teaching each other. So, and it's nice to get to mingle with everybody. Like rehearsals are a good downtime. Like they're tough and they're intense and you have to do it, but it's good to get to know the other girls and everybody supports each other, which is lovely. It's a group effort at the end because if yeah. one looks bad, we all look bad and we're, we are all like sisters right yeah. now. Exactly, yeah. so there's no competition. We're just yeah. trying to help each other out all the way through it. It's all about the teamwork. I believe yeah. that with teamwork, one helping the other, and with the compassion and patience that we have with each other and our teams, the show will be beautiful on the yeah. final night. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Spain, how are you finding it? Yeah, I love this dance. I think, <laughs> uh, first, I thought it was going to be like, you see one, but when we started to make the dance, I was like, oh my God, what's this? But as I'm a dancer, I find it really exciting. And I think the environment of the group is really good. I love it. And I think you are going to see a really good dance. <laughs> You're, very good. You're very good at it. <laughs> Russia, are you a good dancer? Я не совсем профессионально занимаюсь танцами, я люблю танцевать больше для себя. И наши репетиции, подготовка к танцу финальному, это очень расслабляет и выводит из нас этот вот стресс, который копится. Мы прям выводим из себя все негативные эмоции. Excellent. Well, I cannot wait to see you all on the final stage. Thank you for joining us in the Head to Head Challenge. And now it is time for the public to vote. There are four ways to vote. Like the contestants' official Miss World Facebook page, like their content on Mobstar, vote for them on the Miss World website, and in China on Model Power Live. We'll see you next time for the Miss World Head to Head Challenge.